Hi everyone, it's Kathleen. I'm here today to show you the 10 branches that I have stitched in my Alfred's Garden Stitch Along. I'm still using this ball of yarn and let's pull down these blocks and have a look at each one of them. I'm working on all 20 blocks at the same time and I am creating the branches on every one of the 20 blocks. They're not in any particular order at the moment, but if you're following me, I did the same bird shapes in Lisa Mattox's Alfred blocks. So this is the next branch. They'll all blend because they will all have the same yarn, and I will be doing different evergreen stitches or different leaf stitches on these branches. So the branches, I'm going to do all 20 at the same time. So this one, same straight stitches as I did in the previous branch. And then I went back. And sometimes I just did straight stitches. These are straight stitches, but then with little V attached, straight with a little V. Sometimes they're just a little L a straight line, a Y, Y, Y. I'm not doing the fly stitch, but I'm, they're just, and sometimes they're anchored. So this, I just want to show you what I've done because I'm not stitching these on camera. So you can take a, a screenshot of this and create it if you're following along. Next one is this. And again, these birds are not in any particular order. I did one of each pertaining to Lisa's block, the direction and the type of wing and, bur and beak and tail that she's used, body and tail, I mean. So this one is that straight stitch all the way across. And another one coming across. I actually used the stem stitch here, and then I alternated on either side, little stab stitches back and forth. And I did the same on the upper branch as well, all the way down. And sometimes, yes, I went over the feet. So you can take a screenshot if you'd like. Next one. It would take way too many hours to do these videos for the for just one item and I'm repeating it 20 times. So that's why I've showed you how to do it. And then I went back to make it thicker. And then I made two other branches because the evergreens, they'll have different kinds of greenery on the different kinds of branches. Sometimes I'll have leaves, but mainly greenery. So you can take a screenshot of that. Next one. I love how they all blend, meaning the birds have the similar colors. All the bodies are this light blue, but they're different bodies on all of them. All the wings are this color, and but they're different wings on each one. All the tails are the same kind of wool, but they're different shapes. I used all the same stitches around all of the tails, all of the same stitches around the wings. So that's a second stitch and a third stitch around the bird. And then all the beaks are a little bit different, but there's the same type of stitch. Same with the feet. So this branch is just a, an, um, a back stitch, a back stitch with little twigs, sometimes it's just a single one, back stitch, a line, couple back stitches, couple back stitches, and then we go up. And I'll be putting the different greeneries on them in a different video. So I just wanted to share those with you. I still have some more. I have a total of 10, 11, 11 branches done. So I wanna show you all 11. So you can continue to work on yours. I'll let you take a screenshot. And sometimes I did an outline stitch and I varied my length. Then I added one, one stitch, 
a stitch with a Y, stitch with a Y, one stitch, stitch with a Y, sometimes a stitch that kind of goes up, and those are back stitches. Stitch with a Y, stitch with a Y, an L, and a Y, and a Y, and just back. Next, I just love how they all go together. It's going to be a beautiful blanket when it's done. I'll let you take a screenshot. And a little bit closer. And again, I, they, these are outline stitches and then I kind of veered off to create the different branches. This reminds me of the Katoni asters that we have here, the hedges. And then this one. I'll let you take a screenshot. And then go down. And I started working my stitch. And this looks like a stem stitch. And then I would veer off. And I would veer off. And then I would start at the end and make another row going up and another row going down. And three more. I'll let you do a screenshot. And we move in and we have it's just placement of stitches, almost like painting. Stab stitches back and forth, and then I stretched it out here and out. Every once in a while, I made them go out. They'll have different green variegated threads. And as long as you change up your colors, it doesn't matter the type of second last one here. Take a screenshot. And go closer. And again, I work the branch by one long line. And then I go up. I probably finished off and then I, from the branch I went out, from the branch I went out, or maybe if you start over here, it would be easier. You can go up, continue, and continue, and continue. This is the last one I'm going to show you today. Oops, screenshot. And closer. I love this bird. I love everything about him. So the branches, I would have done that stab stitch all the way to the tip. And I would go back and I do another row and go out. Go another row, go out. Continue, go out, continue, go out. And well, depending on how thick I was, continue and go out. So these are going to look really good when they're all together. I, when I'm making my blanket, I'm gonna, right now it seems I have d chosen my birds all looking one way, but they will be looking, not upside down, but they'll be, one will be looking towards each other and then it'll alternate. So they look so pretty together. <laughs> too many birds to, sh to share all at once. I want to line them up and take a pretty picture and put them on Pinterest. Thank you everyone for watching and enjoy your stitching. Bye for now.